as a parent or chaperone, you're going to access your group itinerary link. Um, you will have received this in an email um, or from your group leader in some form. Um, and that's going to be how you are connected to your group's event. So before you log in or create an account, you're going to want to make sure that you have access to your link. Um, once you have clicked on that, it's going to take you to a page like this here um, where you're going to want to hit the register button. This is going to be where you'll be prompted to create an account. So you'll just put in an email address there. From that point, you are going to be registering for an account. Um, you, it's key that you put in your information here. So if you're a parent, make sure that you're putting in your own information rather than your students. So once you get to this page here, um, this is going to be where you want to go ahead and hit new attending and you will put in your students information here and their birthday and their grade will go here as well. So once you get to this page, you're going to be prompted to fill out some terms and conditions for Winter Conference. Um, this is going to be all the forms that we need um, just in regards to a couple of different policies that we have. So once you've read through that, you'll hit that you've read and agreed to the terms and conditions and then hit continue. So now you'll see that you've completed the terms and conditions for the event. So if you have a second child who's coming to the Crosswords Winter Conference, the way that you can add them is you're going to return back to the same group itinerary link. Um, and once you reopen that, you'll be able to take the same steps that you took previously with registering um, your first student. So you'll just hit register. Um, you'll still most likely be logged in here. So um, you'll see that this first student is registered and there you can add a new attendee. Um, so it's going to prompt you in the same way to um, fill out their information and then go ahead and do the terms and conditions um, for them as well. View your account. Um, the way that you're going to do that is go to crossroadswinterconference.com. Um, once you arrive to our website, you're going to go under the registrations tab and under group and family login. There you will log in. Um, you can see that um, our browser already had us logged in here, but um, it'll prompt you to enter your email address and password and then you'll be logged in here. Um, so if you need to go back and complete any of those forms, you will do so under the registrations tab. Um, and you can see how there are green check marks here indicating that these have been completed, but if they had not been completed, it would have a red X here that you could click on and go ahead and complete those forms. You can find the information that we've discussed in this video on our website in written form as well. Um, you can find it under the registrations tab and under the FAQs here. Um, one thing to note is if you are receiving a duplicate account error, um, you will need to go ahead and come here to our customer service form, um, which is a form that will um, you'll fill out that has your information and your students' information. Um, and by submitting that, we will be able to um, go ahead and get that fixed for you. Um, if you need any help um, of some sort or receiving an error code, that's going to be your landing spot um, is this form here. And we ask that this would be the form that you would fill out um, and the way to contact us if you have any issues with the registration process.